This video is regarding a recent Marana Police Department officer-involved shooting that occurred in the 6900 block of North Thornydale Road. The Pima Regional Critical Incident Team, or PRCIT, consisting of 10 law enforcement agencies in Pima County, was activated to handle the criminal investigation of this incident, specifically the Tucson Police Department and the University of Arizona Police Department. This is standard practice, so agencies don't criminally investigate their own personnel. The Marana Police Department is conducting a separate administrative investigation to determine if any policy violations occurred. Investigations involving an officer's use of force can take a significant amount of time. Investigators are tasked with reviewing videos, interviewing multiple witnesses, examining forensic evidence, and reviewing hundreds of pages of transcripts and reports. This video is based on information we know to be accurate at this time. Conclusions about whether the officer's actions were consistent with agency policy and the law will not be made until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. The material we are about to share may contain strong language as well as graphic images which may be disturbing to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. On February 10, 2024, the Pima Regional Critical Incident Team was activated for a Marana Police Department officer-involved shooting in the 6900 block of North Thornydale Road in Marana, Arizona. At approximately 5.30 p.m., a Marana Police Department officer conducted a traffic stop on a 2017 Jeep Cherokee for civil traffic violations. The vehicle had pulled into the gas station located at 4180 West Ina Road. After contacting the adult male driver, officers had reasonable suspicion to believe he may be impaired and began a DUI investigation. At the conclusion of that investigation, officers developed probable cause to arrest the male suspect for aggravated DUI. As officers went to place the suspect in handcuffs, he fled on foot in a southern direction across several lanes of traffic on West Ina Road. As officers gave chase, the suspect dropped a gun when he was crossing West Ina Road. He quickly picked it back up and continued running in a southern direction with the gun now in his hand. Here is video from the officer's body-worn camera. So, Tobin, I'm going to have you take your hands out of your pocket, man. Put your hands on your back. You're under arrest for Why? Why? Stop. Why? During the foot chase, officers gave the suspect several commands to stop and put the firearm down. Additional officers were requested to contain the area. The Pima County Sheriff's Department Survey Air Unit also responded to assist. Here is video of another officer's body-worn camera during the foot pursuit. Stop! Drop the gun! Drop it! Drop the gun! Drop it! Let's go. Three, well, let's get this containment set and then lock him in there and then we'll work it. The PCSD survey air unit maintained visual contact with the suspect as he made his way into the Canyon Del Oro Wash and across the southern part of the river path. As the suspect continued trying to get away from officers, he was seen discharging his firearm. Here is video from the PCSD survey air unit. I don't think county has any canine units on it. It looks like he just might have squeezed off around towards the storage place. I just heard you on the ground. I just heard you on fire. How far? How far? Uh, somewhere right over here. All right, get stay in cover, stay in cover, right? After discharging his firearm, the suspect continued eastbound towards a heavily populated area when the officer discharged his department-approved rifle. Here is side-by-side -side video of the PCSD survey air unit and the officer who discharged his department-approved rifle. All right, guys. You ready? Yep. Oh, 
All right, we're moving up. Additional officers were arriving to the area and were approaching from the opposite end of the parking lot. As the suspect rounded the corner, gunfire was exchanged between the officers and the suspect. The suspect was struck and officers began to render aid with the use of their individual first aid kits until personnel from the Northwest Fire District arrived to take over life-saving measures. Despite these efforts, the suspect was pronounced deceased at the scene. Here is side-by-side -side video of the PCSD survey air unit and body-worn camera footage from an officer who discharged his department-issued handgun. You good? You good? Five, eight, three, shots have been fired. Okay, there's a couple more units over here. Start meds. Suspect is down. We have not confirmed whether the weapon is. <laughs> hey, stay up, right here, right here! Right here! Hey! Right here, one crossbow! Who the ball? Who the ball? Here are the same videos. Pause to highlight relevant information. No officers or other community members were injured in this incident. The suspect has been identified as 29-year-old Tobin Pico. Here's a photograph of Mr. Pico. Here's a photo of the gun that was located near Mr. Pico. An officer was using a vehicle for cover during the exchange of gunfire. Here's a photo of the vehicle that the suspect struck. The officer who discharged his rifle has been identified as Officer Brad Gill, a 12-year veteran. The officers who discharged their handguns have been identified as Officer Jacob McCarthy, a six-year veteran, and Officer Max Wozniak, a seven-year veteran. The Pima Regional Critical Incident Team continues to investigate this incident. When the investigation is complete, it will be presented to the Pima County Attorney's Office for review, which is standard practice for officer-involved shootings. Members of the public with information and or video of the incident are asked to contact the Tucson Police Department at 520-791-44. Four, four. This is still an active investigation.